Hello everybody! Today I'll be showing you guys a terraforming tutorial for this area. This video will mostly be in real time so that it's easier to follow. And just want to say before we start, the whole area is around 11-ish blocks wide and 17-ish blocks long, give or take a couple of blocks. I kind of just quickly counted it. But yeah, uh, so first I'll be uh, terraforming the cliffs and then we'll be moving on to waterscaping. All right. So for the bottom part, I'm carving out this big chunk of second level cliff, kind of like a tunnel, and I think it just helps anchor the rest of the build. And now I'm just gonna quickly remove the random pathing that I had put before, like months ago when I was experimenting with something. Probably should have done this before I started filming, but that's okay. Okay, so now you're gonna make a square like this. And then round off the edges to make it a circle. And then we're gonna continue making the tunnel for six more blocks. Okay, so now that the tunnel is finished, uh, you can just copy what I'm doing on the left here and then later on the right for the rest of the shape of the bottom area. So this is how the cliff should look when you're done and pay attention to where the stone circle path is because that's important for the next step. Alright, time for waterscaping. 
So I'm starting off right behind this circle and I'm putting these squares here in this shape so that I can make nice curved edges. And now you'll see me struggling to make this piece of land in the exact shape that I want it to be. And here is when I realize that I actually need a waterfall from above in order to make the shape that I want. So I'm adding these cliffs in the back, which I probably should have done in the beginning because like I said, the area we're working on needs to be at least 11-ish blocks wide and 17-ish blocks long. But anyway, better late than ever. Ah, it's the little things in life. Okay, the bottom layer waterscaping is finished and this is how it should look. Now I'm moving to the upper layer and finishing off the waterscaping there. And this is how the upper layer waterscaping should look so far. And now I'm just quickly filling in the cliff in the back because I didn't do it before. So now we'll be waterscaping the rest of this river for the angled bridge to be placed across.
I was so focused on waterscaping the edges correctly here that I forgot about the huge piece of land in the middle, which I had to go back and carve out after I already finished the edges. So don't be like me and get rid of the land before you smooth out the edges. And here is the final shape of the upper level waterscaping. Now I'm just adding a little cliff to take photos from since I like the ankle the best from up there. This cliff is not exactly the same shape as the one in the original build, but it doesn't really matter because in my opinion it's not really part of the build, it's just somewhere that you go to take pictures. So feel free to make it bigger if you wish. And this is how the waterscaping and terraforming looks so far. Now I'm just gonna go and get the bridge so I can show you where you should place that. Alright, so I'm going to stand at this little edge and that's where I'm going to build the bridge. And I don't think it lets you build it anywhere else anyway. I'm just going to uh, exit out this menu because uh, I'm running out of bills. But yeah, that's where you should build it. And with that, we've made it to the end of this terraforming tutorial. In a moment, you'll see the full area that this was based on. Here you go. Um, if you guys would like a part two where I show you how to decorate this area, please let me know and I will film that. And if there are any other areas that I posted on my Instagram that you'd like a terraforming tutorial for, let me know and I can film those as well. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye!